boy. Oh my god. Bob oh, they have no idea. 5v5 level da, 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 one. Da, da, Ships da, da, in the da, da, night, da, da, boys. Da, da. Looks like JDG are just gonna stay and start on the enemy red buff. Is Golden Guardians gonna stay and start on the enemy blue buff? This is hilarious. It looks like Kha'Zix is gonna go straight bot at level two. But River's coming as well. We're gonna have a 3v3 bot at level one. They find the hook. Oh! Who he goes in and missing is gonna be the target, but River's gonna be carefully flashes away to stay alive, but he's only got 100 HP and it's first blood back over to Kanabi and the Kha'Zix. It should be picked up here with Golden oh, Guardians reset. getting the money on Sticks A. The double he's ball. excited and he just can't hide it. Missing goes over the wall into the brush. He tries to get away. Oh! The grand entrance oh! is shut down. Look for the heat. Saw Mina with the Scryer's Boom. Yikes stopped his recall because of it. Cease and desist under the tower. Zonfair coming out as well. But Mickey is very tanky on this Braum. Glacial Fisher has been popped with the light. Not underneath the turret shots. Should be able to back away. Ignite ticks on him, but he does retreat. The Whirling Dead. He hasn't got the stacks to get through that eclipse. Oh, oh. the spear! Oh, I hit the spear! He does still have the flash and will get underneath the tower with it. Delight. There's a minion there, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> right, Look for a bit of a fight against Caps here. Goes wide up towards the soft side as well, but yank the moonlight vigil, oh, the gamble falls oh, pace! Oh, oh, that was beautiful! They're gonna grab the Herald as well. They've already cracked all the outers, so they're gonna be looking for inners here. If there's a flash over the wall, Dawn. Oh, no. And now Hayes is showing us against G2 who have struggled, but showing us that he's willing to dash forward, to flash forward, to kill off the enemy AD oh, carry! Oh, oh. Just straight up march in, kill him on the Nexus powers, and say GG. I mean, Pays was... you how you are, you just have that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's a Raven, three one. It's a, it's a three one. The top lane won't get banged out. <laughs> Ready, I have a small, small breath of hopium for us. If it takes Gen G longer than 23 minutes and 24 seconds to win this series, yeah. G2 versus TL is still the fastest best of five internationally <laughs> ever. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, I love the early defensive ult there from Doran. Uh, we'll see if they can make anything happen. It's early. The There's the knock up for the huge oh! back into the all out. Pulls Mickey all the way out. The quickness used by Mickey to escape. Joby dashes back forward with the flash caps, low on mana. Q3 once again hits Mickey, the Tibbers for the stun though! Looks like he's not gonna convert this into much. Yike just flashes the wall. Dorman takes the tower, Dorman's gonna execute! Dorman's gonna execute! <laughs> the Rift Held put down in the mid lane. Yeet it! Yeet it, Yike! Woo! Oh, hang on, they are actually just gonna this start this like one the off. like the T1 special. They've had this done to them. Now they're gonna try to look to do it in their turn. A oh, great steadfast presence oh! into the copter, knocks the light away, but Yike is still in the midst of three members of Gen.G. They're gonna try and chase him down. Cap's trying to keep them at bay. Mickey fighting Chovy up towards the top side as Hansama keeps that battle continuing. Seismic shard into the spear, but Yike dodges to the side. The red buff, the molten shield, the steadfast presence. The flash in the end of the end Oh my god, With the Baron buff, they're in such a good spot. Great rejection there. Then the sidestep. Oh my word, yeah. It's gonna be the TP flying coming here from Broken Blade. Is it the Hail Mary? Hayes has the flash. Slicing Mouse from coming out. Hayes able to escape for the moment, but Delight's already down. Hayes can open up onto Broken Blade as they turn the fight around. The Witch coming out. Dorman low. The singularity's being used. Yike keeps Dorman in the midst. Jovi! Jovi absolutely destroys G2. They step too far forward, and Jovi stomped them into the ground. Oh, uh, It's been a while since I played into G2, and it was a bummer that I, I was not seeing Yankos in screen. My revenge. It is now. <laughs> and a massage. Ooh. You're getting a massage. These looking relaxed. Yeah. They've had such a string of solid performances when you come to national. Yeah, the expectations are extremely high for them. Karzi is <laughs> showing off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Chronic, what do you call an emperor without a crown? I call him T1. I'm, Four I'm not, not going to fall for it. <laughs> it's in a row. Not going to fall he's, for he's, it. How many international finals have you made recently? So let's uh, move on. I don't Pick some bears. <laughs> to zone them off. Now Niski under attack. He's got the flash available, will be using it, gets the stun below 100. First blood goes to Mad Lions. Another disintegrate connects. Owner's waiting for the cooldowns. He's managed, got the taste of fear. Down to 200. Aloy goes away. Sonic wave in. It's a double for the Lions. Let's go! Two and a half thousand, one and a half thousand. It's secured by T1. Zeus is the immediate target. That's all of a sudden the Moonlight Vigil 5. T1 have belted through the hit points for now. They've stood toe to toe. Oh no, it's forced away. Tracy finds him. Slicing Maelstrom, but it's at the cost of Nesquik's life. Four members of T1 going backwards. They get the hook onto the little hamster. And look out, George, onto Kazi. How the hell 
or T1 doing it. Oh. They managed to win the fight down 7,000 gold. Al Yoy is running for his life because he's trying to find time, trying to find the feathers. He's rooted it up, Faker. He Goomba. needs one more, but he simply can't do it. Goomba's the next target. Feather storm out. Kazi wants to close it out with the help of Al Yoy. Somehow, Mad Lions bring it back from the jaws of Team Fight Defeat, only for T1 to shut them right Did down. He? This fight has gone on so long that Niski's been able to respawn and teleport back in. All of a sudden, Niski, can he catch Faker? Looking for the incinerate that disintegrate, but Faker's too tonky. Turns it around again. Say it's the next target. Death charge again. What? Faker finally down. Niski running for his life, but it's T1. It's T1. I mean, that Umbral Grave from Ona has done so much value. It was the first item he picked up. Faker once again finds the initiation, and Goomba just melts. Right now, Niski is screaming, have you seen my bed tippers? Because I haven't. You've been oh. dead so many times oh. in these team fights. But the dredge line connects. The Dragon's Rage has has been used. Bone, skewer, flash. Goomba, there's no one to jump back on him. And Hilly's the man that's targeted down. Faker gets another. Niski uses the Alglasses to buy <laughs> some time. But Goomba has done it once again. JC with a slicing maelstrom gets at least a kill back. Now Niski's in trouble. Faker's running him down. Goes all out under the tower. The third proc in the queue flashed away from <laughs> underneath the tower and flashed one for one in the mid lane. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> Hit the flesh. While all this action is going on on the side lane, they actually finish the mid tower and they finish Garzi. Oh, look at that damage! With the Maokai there to peel for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mad God. Lions cannot defend their base at 16 and a half minutes. The Nexus turrets are being destroyed. The Nexus could be focused. It's up to Chasey to defend it. Have T1 seriously won a game in 17 are you me? minutes. I have never seen my more dominant win from a second seed taking down LEC's number one. The way in which T1 set that up was great. You know, that damned Scion, I know we have missed. Guma Yoshi, could you please describe this series in one word for me? Oh, uh, so funny. <laughs> yeah. In 2021, I flashed for Scuttlecrab. You know, we didn't make out a group stage. Hoping I can have a redemption story. Sacrificing his HP bar to keep that wave as shoved in as possible to make it harder for Yagao to look for the roam. And he's not out yet. Blabber's looking to catch him. Trying to get Vision. Just needs oh! Vision. <laughs> just can't see him. Just sees the end, but can't click it fast enough. Now, the ulti fades away. Shutting escapes. Zerker. Immediately forced off the start of the way, start of the fight. I mean, stealing the Gnarl means that the disengage is now deep. coming through. TP going yes. in, Fudge! He's going golden, but he's just delaying his own death. That teleport sucked! And they got the first couple of seconds in those fights, in those picks. Massive stuff. Oh, already oh. calling! Oh. Game one, he did a very good job of weathering that storm. Game two, though, C9 elk. are doubling down. Step forward and get the slow down on the elk. The knockup elk does not stop. He just looks into the face of death and walks away. They kill Blabber full confidence. They hit him with a laughing emo. This, this syndrome. Nice Knockback flights on two fronts. Elk! What was he doing there? The <laughs> they have to play off of those ultimates until they get a good angle for those. Oh, oh my, that is. Okay. Uh, no one saw. No one saw. Well, no one Except saw until no the observers yeah, no, 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 no. decided to show everyone. No one saw. <laughs> now hundreds of thousands of people <laughs> saw. I don't know. Flash. Here's the setup. MNS, of course, is trying to start it up. Bin does such a good job yeah. hovering in those minions. He makes MNS tank the full wave while Blabber is coming in. <laughs> oh. Will not get taken. Oh now. no, he's on a ward. Zap was just used though. No, 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 no. Holding on. Elk is Zap. coming. Sidestep. No out of towers have dropped for the LG. They're five towers. Oh, oh no. Out. And the red God. buff is stolen by Elk. Maybe a lantern can get him out. They really don't do that much damage. Fudge slowly but surely divides under a prox. Oh, here comes Elk. This is where it gets hard. The knock up to deny the flash out to safety. It really just wasn't enough as uh, BLG will be victorious in this best of five. Credit to Ben trying to walk forward. I mean, he deserves. I mean, he does smart. deserve it. He knows. <laughs> Let's go have fun, okay, guys? Don't be, don't play scared. Yeah. Nice play aggressive. Well, but now Golden Guardians trying to contest. Guardians looking for the engage. Who he's already found if they go in. Those River. early leads into huge mid-game leads. Rivers coming in to try to at least stop and make something happen here. But it is going to be the Kha'Zix. Oh, oh, oh. Will River come out with the Rengar as the answer? Oh, 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 oh come on. A oh. League of Legends. Oh. Oh.
Golden Guardians have had some bad back timers. Yeah. He knows he doesn't want to risk running into Kanabi. And River is once again found by the bug. Getting the dragon to respond, so not as big of a win for Golden Guardians. Oh, River jumps in after Ruler, but wow. now he's got to be careful. Jungle River. You don't want to be here. No. Nope. You're to back away, but again, you're looking at Baron that's just bought. River now wants it, though. River just jumping in over and wow. over by himself. Man, what was that? 369 was the go. 369 with the Everfrost. Not going to catch Dixay there, but again, wow. it's River. He was so, <laughs> so good back domestically. Oh, <laughs> Kanabi just jumps in. Obviously looking forward to Genji T1, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry for my present guest, but we're gonna see a good series. Like that goes maybe four to five <laughs> games. I mean, from both sides, that came out harsher than I meant. <laughs> um, which, you know, That's what else okay. is new? <laughs> the last time the LCK won MSI was in 2017. That's quite a while. How, how long is it since NA won? Can anyone remember? Uh, Anyways, uh, Peter got 50. <laughs> yeah, uh, Doran's still here, so... Uh, standing guard. <laughs> top lane does not exist anymore. Uh, it's just in the bottom lane now. Uh, there's a mini one. It's a, it's a small little lane towards this brush, as we can see. And I've got a question for you, gentlemen. Is Annie actually just the hard counter to Chovy? Because you're putting an extra minion in his lane. <laughs> and that is going to distract him quite a lot. He does like minions. Atlas, Quite a lot. you and I both know Chovy is more than that now, okay? <laughs> Don't feed into these false narratives. Doran puts down his miss now. T1 just patiently waiting that one out, but the quickness is huge no. on the three. Ooh, they to get it, 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 it. He's pooped down to the fight. Not really too much to worry about, but, uh, oh, Carrier diving forward. T1, they know it. They want to try and get this turn soon, but the knockup on Dezaeus, he's taking so much damage here from Gen.G, oh. but it's a phenomenal all from Ona. And this is also Genji clearly saying, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. Surprise. Well, there's the flash hook. All right, immediately Trophy has to respond with his own. Um, I'll move him with Ox, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. grab is going to land, and immediately Delight is going to get taken down. The Tibbers not going to find too much value, but still they're going oh. to be able to get it. The hook's going to land once again. And T Wood are angry. 23 minutes, and they're already going to crack the base. Oh, no. We'll see whether Genji has anything left. Oh, we got him. Anything else in the... Oh, my goodness. Chovy, possibly overextended. Owner is going to move Same. on in. Surprise, Does have that level six and just oh. drives by. And a uh, shout out to Brendan Valdez here as the best item in the game is going to keep uh, Faker alive. Not even... Not even close. <laughs> Are they thinking that they're doing Baron? Like, Owner. Well, Owner is just going to get interrupted there as Peanut is going to press the stop the button and one. just walks his way out. Okay. As Doran looking for a flank angle, they find the equalizer down onto Faker. He has to commit and he throws down the tower and goes one for one. What the heck was that? Carrier going to get zapped though. Wait. So much damage. It's a corridor and an equalizer. Fantastic for this one. But Kumiyoshi is so strong. And Doran does nothing. It's a double oh, kill. No. A triple. A quadra for Kumiyoshi. Genji thought they saw a moment of weakness. And <laughs> they were right. But it wasn't T1 that was weak. Oh, it was not enough at all. Oh, so no. she's going to die to a turret. And Chovy is going to what sit on the base. There are minions that are winning the game in the Wait, meantime. But it can't end. As, yeah. As this is coming down, he buys a stopwatch mid-fight on the fountain to stopwatch the damage, which keeps him alive and literally saves the bloody game. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, just immediately gets the ultimate, gets the knockup, gets the follow-up. Oh, like, really man. nice job from Zayce. And you kind of see there, like, you just... Oh, oh and the bellows Zayce. breath as well. All right, that was, that was nasty. They haven't really had many gold leads as they dive on top of Faker once again. Frozen Tomb comes on down and Faker flashes. He does have the no ult. Way. He's staying alive. Oh. I'll bring it next time, Chronicle. Yeah, I'm well. so sorry. Oh. As Kask is going to come down here towards his top side. Can Zayus do it again? Doran right now with a decent health lead as he gets back. Oh. Doran relatively out of position. He's pretty tanky, he gets feared up. Doesn't have flash though, does have body slam and now looks to try and escape. Faker now gets into position as they dive on oh, board. They look for Gumiyushi and they manage to take down the Aphelios. Now Pei's dodging everything. Oh, and Genji just destroy them. Means he can't really do too much. And 
All right, well, that is a heroic charge. Faker in a bit of trouble here, but does manage to mitigate some of that CC. Goes all out onto Peanut. Now just trying to fight the Poppy. Chovy, though, is going to make his way through. Faker's still alive for the moment. Flash! Oh! And he'll survive! That was sick! Very hard for Genji to move across. They oh, Delight looking. gets the flash headbutt. They find the back line as Gumiushi already has used the Featherstorm Doran. Down incredibly low. Stays alive for so long, but it's not going to be enough. Another couple of kills to come through for the Rumble. And T1 will take the Nexus and win a game five. When Doran is not on front line, it, it, it's not just his Gwen play, I think. His Gwen could obviously uh, see some improvement. We're out here in London running it down just like our teams. Now, Mad Lions, fastest team in the West, 1647. That's a historic pace. <laughs> Please, no more 1647. His entire top side as well. They know that he did this because they have a ward on the red buff, but yikes! Oh! They missed. But it's gonna also be top yike. side. <laughs> yike. There's no way. Yike! 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 Oh! <laughs> That would have been a yikes. <laughs> you yeah. him catching yikes. Maybe yikes. Chasey threw the ultimate out. Chasey. Yeah, Chasey's just oh. losing to 1v1. He went in on his lonesome, trying to dash around with a blade surge. Broken Blade oh, still very happy. Really Chasey tanks the tower, and Broken Blade takes him out <laughs> in the 1v1. <laughs> yeah. What an engage from Paps, though. Like, I thought that this was really into the start, but he gets a oh. three person knocker. Yike then follows it up with another three-man knockup and then Broken Blade with the execution onto the Aphelios. And then you see the Cassante in mid. Like, yeah. that force was such a poor decision from Mad. And G2... They're laughing! They're laughing at me because... I Situation! It's just Hillisang things, right? Yike doesn't have a huge amount of mana here. Hillisang keeps Hilly him around. Winter's it. bite comes out. Hilly has the ignite. Has ignite. Yike, how much mana does Yike have? Does he have enough for the ultimate? Yike tries to turn it around. The ignite is ticking. <laughs> a one for one. Cap's trying to trade down towards this bottom side. Has that abyssal mask already complete? Oh, and that no. is what a Nautilus can do. Flash away from Niski on six HP. But how are you gonna get out of here? Well, with the help of Elioria. They kill them all. I still have ult. I still have ult. They can't. They can't do anything. I still have ult. Maybe we can end. I have ult. I still have ult. Nice. 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 Upper bracket final. <laughs> Here we go. The warm up. Push through it. Cleanse through it. You do want some upfront burst damage to make sure. Oh. Burst. oh. He's watching you. Look out. BLG instantly follow up the Herald in their eyes, but it's already been spotted away. You're out trying to keep the fight going, but keep your eyes on Ruler. Yavelia so damn strong. He's got the backup. You're just walking into him. What's the rule, BLG? I think it's green, white. Don't fight. But they're going to try to make it York anyway. Knight over the backside. Huge damage. Ruler oh coming God. in. It's massive. My God. A disgusting fight. It's a split fight. BLG ready over the wall. Help. Huge damage. Not quite, as it's only connecting on a few missing there to body block the gale oh. force and ruler just does not quit this man refuses to lose and gal off on the side of the flank 369 trying to make it out to safety at least gonna get the pull back onto two knight over the wall gonna land some big damage ruler still on touch you gal gonna land the hook with the ball is it quite there bit finally leaping in they're trying to kill him oh. but they can't do it ruler are you kidding me four seconds until kanavi blg are trying to burn down the barn because they know and he's over coming the wall in. again the body block there to make sure the ruler is on touch but finally a hook's gonna land but no again the scatter they just will not let Ruler drop! JDG so good at protecting the president, the president's about to rain hell under the front line of BLG, but Elk ready now to fire back red and white, but they're still gonna fight anyway, they don't give a damn! Ruler backed up by the team again, finding a way into the fight, JDG are just too damn good! We will beat T1 in the next matchup. I don't think Sven is that good and I feel like we're just gonna win Bolin versus them. With the volatility of both mid lane and bottom lane. Ooh. What? He'd been uh, even full standing jump there. Licorice, meanwhile, under the tower, follows through with the flash, gets the kill. Beautiful stuff from him. <laughs> that is my favorite death animation in the game. Every time it happens, it's just so silly. The observers agree. <laughs>
Stick saying who he pushed up to the turret now. Nope. Sven wants to go in here with a quickness. Ooh. Beautiful wild growth from who he to <laughs> deny Sven. Cloud9 realized, you know what? It's just the Golden Guardians. They slap him down. Stick say he cleanses. He tries to gale force to get out of range, but MS finishes him off. <laughs> oh. But those are the timers I'm talking about. And those movements from Cloud9. Here we go, though. Ori getting hit by the Everfrost. MS having that extra little bit of CC to Contest. guarantee his charm. Works out well. Waits till the rocks disappear to start using his dashes there when his ulti flashes away from the seismic shove. Gory is taken <laughs> low! Berserker wins the fight! Seconds left. River though, isolated. River found out by Blabber. They want the damage from MS and they got it. The shutdown back over to C9 as MS looks for a little bit more. Gory's gonna be the target, but Licorice slams the enemy mid laner back into the wall. MS taken very low, but the stopwatch keeps him alive as now another kill comes through and Gory is down too. Licorice staying and fighting here in the Raptor pit as who he and Stixe show up. And Stixe, rat attack, can't fire the gat. Berserker fights back what? and it's a rocket to the face. Cloud9's AD carry will not go quietly into the night. Licorice and Fudge in a 1v1 off to the side as Fudge is trying to get away and build some distance. He throws the cast back as Berserker, Berserker! beautifully spaces out who he and shows why he's the best AD carry in North America. I still think that it's C9 the walk away with the bigger advantage though. Berserker has overstayed his welcome. That's a thousand gold right there. Gory sees it, double teleport to defend. Double teleport protecting oh. AD carry. And MS goes all out. I'm so sad about this mid situation. Always so, Is it? Always Nautilus, Xantis. You don't Sire. like it? He doesn't like playing dog mids. Uh, mid wasn't like this yeah. years ago. Shobi? How yeah. do you feel about playing against Shobi? He's the good. Okay. Yeah. Be back on Tuesday for more MSI with BLG versus G2. And I'm casting it. I'll see you all then.